been wanting to uh, make some uh, battery banks for a while and I've been collecting all of these uh, Nokia mobile phone batteries I've got uh, two sets of 3.7 1.4 amp hour batteries so that's one set and two sets uh, I've also got uh, 3.9 amp hours and three 1 amp hour batteries both at uh, 3.7 volts and what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I've got a few of these uh, little project boxes and uh, I'm basically going to put them inside them uh, seal them up with a couple of wires coming out and then they uh, so they get a charging circuit working for it so we can use these on all the future projects that's great then Sold up all the batteries now, so I've got like a uh, bunch of three, a bunch of three, and then my uh, two packs, which are the same. Now, uh, the, the thing actually gave me the uh, the idea for uh, for all this was uh, I had a uh, Bluetooth device of which uh, had a lithium battery in it, which uh, broke. So uh, what it was, I uh, I just kept the part of the circuit board which charged it on a, a USB two connector, if you can see there. And uh, the way I've charged all of these up now is uh, literally just these uh, two crop clips. And uh, what I've done is crop clip one to the one and the other one to the other one. And then charged it up. And then uh, there's a light that comes on here. Uh, it's uh, green if it's fully charged. It's green and orange if it's charging. Now uh, I've charged all of these up so they all should be ready to go. And uh, I'm just going to put them in the uh, the housings now, and uh, then we'll have uh, four contained units. Now, uh, something else I was uh, considering was uh, if you don't actually have a uh, an old Bluetooth device or something else of which uh, you can use, you can use a an old mobile phone, and then uh, just plug the battery straight back into it again and then just link them all up and it will charge just as normal from the charger or uh, from uh, any source that you uh, decide to charge the phone from that's great I've got my uh, first one ready and waiting there so it's a nice little box it's, uh, it's just got uh, two outputs that I can uh, charge and dissipate the battery through so, uh, all I did was uh, set the top off and put the battery in, uh, got a bit of tissue for waddy, pushed a bit down the side and then bent it over and literally just put four screws in the top and uh, that'll be the second one done. So I'm going to continue to do the other uh, three. All the batteries up now. I've uh, put them all in a series, uh, hooked them round to my multimeter, and it looks like we're getting a good 15.3 volts. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, hook it up to an inverter and see if we can power this bulb off it. That's great. Hooked up to a small car inverter now. And what I'm going to do is uh, switch this on. And I've put in the, uh, I think it's an 11 watt energy saving bulb in there. And that seems to be uh, running it quite well, just off these uh, four sets of uh, Nokia batteries. <laughs> I'm quite surprised at that. But that's great. So I know my batteries are working fine and I can use them in uh, other projects now. Thanks for watching.